Before we start the video, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to our channel. This video was shot under some chaotic conditions with flashlights and other small battery powered lights that I was trying to conserve. Our electricity and internet have been out for some time. I'm getting way behind on my video editing and posting, but I've been shooting a lot of really good stuff. We're able to keep our cell phones and the camera batteries charged with the battery in my van. Wendy has offered me a challenge. Right now we're at just over 230 subscribers. If we can get up to 500, then we can get a drone for our channel. Now this is an expensive toy, but just imagine the kind of shots that we can get out here with one of those. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And tell your friends about our videos too. Wendy's got the little baby goat tucked into her coat to keep her or him warm. There are literally trees coming down around us as we speak. <laughs> this is the worst day. <laughs> it's one of the best days and one of the worst days. Definitely one to remember. <clears throat> And in the top, there are pee pads, but there might be some on the shelf, Okay, too. On, the, on the shelf, in the... Be careful. Try not to jostle the door. Bring a whole bunch! Okay, here's a handful. God, here, put the light down there. Can you, I'm right here. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so little. Or he or she is so little. Jesus Christ. I hate this place. I think the goat's name is Stormy. <laughs> Valkyrie, our Nigerian dwarf goat, has decided to give birth right in the middle of the worst storm that we've ever experienced here. We've got trees coming down on our house. Trees coming down on our goat shed. A lot of branches coming down outside. Can't see very much. It's the middle of the night. This is hell. It looks like the little. Oh my God. It looks like the little little goat's doing well. It's a little small. Let's see. Yeah, that is. 
super cute. Good job. Good job, Valkyrie. And you get all your friends around here helping you too. <laughs> got another one, look. Another one coming? Another bubble. Oh, absolutely. Twins. Good girl, Valkyrie. She's such a good girl. Yes, you're a good girl. Oh, that little brown one is so cute. It's got a little <laughs> little white spot on its side there. Look at that. You're doing a good job of licking. Good job of cleaning her up, Valkyrie. If you can hear those crashes outside, those are large branches of our trees coming down with the weight of the ice. We literally do not know where they're going to land, so it's a little disconcerting. What do you think? If it's a girl, call her Stormy? I don't know. I'm not sure I want to remember storms <laughs> at this particular moment in time where I'm pulling old hay from this nasty room that we're in. <laughs> okay, make the baby, not the meat <laughs> Make the baby. Still coming out, yeah. Let's get you up here. Let's see you can yurt. You see the mommy teeth? Traumatic. <laughs> She's really focused on the new baby and uh, no, not so much on the be. not so much on the <laughs> one on the way. Progressing. It's hard to say. Push against the head. Yeah. See the head, though. Okay, that's good. I think so, anyway. I see something. It's hard to say because it's it's so dark. I think she's pushed up against the. I 
could just be placenta. I don't know anything. me mom it's tickles <laughs> pads. Oh my god, what was that? Okay, that sounded like some branches hitting our neighbor's house. Pink, half black. <laughs> I think I like the markings on its side best. I mean that uh, that white I mean, spot, that dark, dark and light <laughs> around it. Do you want to describe exactly what Valkyrie is is doing? Licking. Well, why she's looking and what she's looking and well, how she's taking care of it. Phillips are prey animals, so they have to clean their babies right off so that they don't have any smell of blood or anything on them. I'd like to see it. Nursing. So that it gets the colostrum. baby for a second. It's kind of cold. Yeah. And I don't have really a good way to warm them up either. The power's out. Yeah, in addition to the storm, we've lost power. Which means we've lost power to the heat lamp that we were going to use in the goat shelter for this, uh, for this birthing process. Just sex. 
It's not going to be very sweet if she dies because she can't eat the cloth from it. Okay. Good girl, back. She's just licking the walls now. I just want to see you keeping the little baby goat warm. Brian. Oh. She seems a little more relaxed. She's cold. Is she shivering? Yes. Well, we can do whatever you want, Brian, Wendy. Brian, don't. Do you want to? She's trying to give birth. Can you stop squatting not, over I'm her? I'm not. Do you? Do you think we should move that little uh, goat pin inside the garage? No, I think it should be in the house. Okay, we can do that. At what point do you want to make that decision? Well. I would like you to go get it right now and put it in the house so that I have it there with the light. Okay, the lights are off in the house. We have the power thing. It's over by the window. Should we use that in the goat shelter where we have the heat lamp set up? I would rather you took took it and put it in side because the goat shelter has a tree on it. Okay. I don't think the tree is going to crush the whole shelter. It's just, you know, leaning up against it. That's a bigger piece. That is the bigger piece coming down out there, it sounds like. So we've got a portable battery power source for our heat lamp. And we've got it just uh, jury-rigged here to keep Valkyrie and the baby a little warmer. We're still in the temporary goat shelter because it's enclosed on three sides and it's a little better for the, for the cold wind that we've got outside right now. Plus, there's just no snow or ice on the inside here. Wendy's got the little baby goat tucked into her coat to keep her or him warm. There are literally trees coming down around us as we speak. <laughs> this is the worst day. <laughs> it's one of the best days and one of the worst days. Definitely one to remember. has a really good licking instinct. It's okay. It's okay. I've got the new little baby goat inside next to our gas fireplace to help keep it warm.
Wendy is still outside with Valkyrie to see if maybe there might be another baby on the way. The heat lamp is set up outside in that temporary shelter to help keep them warm and give them a little bit of light. I'm not sure how long that temporary ba battery power source will, will last. Over here, we've got a little playpen that we can keep the baby goats in with a little pee pad just to keep them warm if that's necessary. Ideally, this little character would be nursing on Valkyrie, but that hasn't happened yet. She did a very good job of cleaning her up. Yeah, we'll get you warm. We'll get you warm. It's okay. It's okay. Little wobbly. I gotcha. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Still have a little bit of the umbilical cord still attached. I believe normally the mother would actually eat that away. It's all right. Right. I got you. It's nice and warm in here. Such a sweetie. Happy birthday. Born just about midnight. February 13th, 2021. Let's see mama. So while I was inside keeping the first baby goat warm, Valkyrie was giving birth to this really cute little black and white one. Hi, baby. <laughs> Come here. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, good. Is she drinking? She's doing it. It looks like she's doing sure. it. I need a flashlight. She's definitely trying. Well, that's the important part. But... Good job. Keep going. You can do it. Okay, she's just standing there now. That's okay. <laughs> if you're a little boy, I think your name should be Trooper. Stormy and Trooper. You don't get to name goats. <laughs> <laughs> They're super cute names. Oh. Not a boy. Not a boy? God damn it, God damn it, God damn it. Well, 
crouch down, not. I've got to see. Got to see what the hell that is. Brian, stay in here until it's done. Well, it's. <laughs> Destroying my goat barn, I can hear it. God damn it. <laughs> That's mostly ice coming down. It is definitely getting the barn. Oh my god. You probably can't see any of this, but a tree is definitely taking out our goat barn. The one that we just put up, it's crushing into that shelter, or that uh, storage area. <sighs> All my supplies for this. It'll, it's not crushed completely, it's just... It might yet. It might be pretty soon. <laughs> This is not quite as safe Brian. out here as I'd like. I'd like to be in the house. Would well, it be alright if I take this little goatee inside to get warm by the fire? Yeah. Okay. Take the little pad thing. Does Valkyrie need to clean her off a little bit? We'll let Valkyrie clean her off a little bit more. Hard night, but it's a good night too. She's contracting. Get that out of her face. <laughs> Where'd my camera go? Rogi. <laughs> See how much stronger this one is? It's already standing up. Yeah. <laughs> like a little tail. <laughs> Very sweet. <laughs> Ooh, that's a tasty tail. Mmm. <sighs> My iodine and everything is in that barn. order things from Loco and maybe we can get there. Look. Is that just the afterbirth or is that another goat? I don't know. Wow. <laughs> I think it might be another goat. Okay. I'm there's <laughs> That's amazing. Well, at least this is keeping us occupied with something rather than just fretting over all the trees that are destroying our property. Vakri looks a little busy at the moment. Yeah. You can do it, Valkyrie. You can do it. Look how long her ears are. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
So they are very sweet. Little sweet voices too. It's a dog, aren't ya? You get so cutie pie. This little cutie pie. Hmm. Yeah, hi, baby. Okay. I brought this one inside to get a little warm by the fire. Wendy's still outside with Valkyrie and the first little baby goat. This one was born probably around 1.30 in the morning. You got cute little markings on your ears, on the insides of your ears. Not ideal conditions with no power and the and the storm outside, but it's pretty exciting. The third little baby goat struggled quite a bit in the birthing process. And we think, we think it's dead, but we've, we've heard just by watching other YouTubers that you should never assume that a goat is dead if it's cold. Because sometimes when you warm it up, it will come back, it will you know, revive itself. So I've got them right here by the fire and just kind of trying to rub it down a little bit. Every now and then I think I see the eyes move a little bit, but it's, it's really hard to tell. So I'm just, we're just hoping for the best. Clearly this is the, uh, the weakest one if, it, if it's even still alive. So we won't get our, we won't get our hopes up that We'll have the three baby goats, but we're not going to give up right now either. It's very cold outside, and that portable battery source that we had to power the heat lamp didn't last very long at all. So, Wendy just carried the two little baby goats in here into the playpen. And I carried Valkyrie. And I think they're doing pretty good.
<laughs> I'd like to be able to use it. <laughs> Sienna, not one Valentine. What we'll, do you think? We'll fight. We'll, we'll decide in a little while. <laughs>